story of logarithm. The world theory, what does it mean? I'm sure you've done this in science theory, something that you propose. All we are saying is that if we have in everything we are doing so far under this, we still link the indices, isn't it? We are still talking about indices, we are still dealing with three basic laws. So in theory of law, you remember you said to multiply, you add the power. So the theory is just the inverse now. The first theory says the log of a product, the log of a product is the sum of their logs. That's the first theory. Log of, well, of course, a constant b. Log of x plus x times y. Log of x times y in bracket is log of x separately plus log of y. This is what we've been talking about. Then the second theory is about division. It's about division. It says log of a quotient is the difference in their log. Log of a quotient is the difference in their log. In other words, the log of x over y in bracket is the log of x minus log of y. Don't forget, is the one that is the denominator that you subtract from because subtraction is not commutative. So you have to be careful. Is the one on top that is the main one. The one under is the one you subtract from it. So log of x over y is log of x minus log of y. Then the third one, still power. Log of something raised to power simply means the power times its log. In other words, if I have log of x and I raise it to power p, I will take p and multiply it by the log of x. Very simple. It's what we've been talking about, isn't it? Very straightforward. Just if you can just remember three basic laws, all others will fall in line. Thank you. Log base 464. Evaluate log base 464. Remember what we said. The log of a number is the power to which the base is raised to get the number. So if the log of base 464 is, let's say, letter x, the implication is 4 raised to power x is equal to 64. We run back to our indices now. 64 is actually. 2 raised to power, or even 4, you can leave it as 4, 4 raised to power 3. So 4 raised to power x is equal to 4 raised to power 3. If the bases are the same, the powers must be the same. Therefore, x equals 3. Okay, let's try another one. Log base 8. log base 8 of 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Again, let this be equals to x. It means 8 raised to power x. 0 0.25 is what? As a fraction, 1 quarter. That's 1 quarter, isn't it? 8 raised to power x is equal to 1 quarter, which means 2 raised to power 3x. 8 is 2 raised to power 3. 3 times x is 3x. Is equal to 2 raised to power minus 2. Because 1 quarter means 2 raised to power minus 2. That's the negative part is what makes it 1 over. Then the power 2 is what makes it 4. Therefore, if the bases are the same, the powers must be the same. So 3x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2 over 3. log express as the log of a single number log 15 plus log 4 
this is assuming the basis are the same, that is, they are in the same. What do the theory ask us to do when we add? We are actually multiplying. So this is straightforward. This is log 4 times 15, which is log 60. That's all. Convert addition to multiplication under one log. Next, 2 log 10 raised to power 9. 2 log 10 raised to power 9. This means the third law. It says when you have a power, you raise it to another power. So this means log base 10, sorry. Log base 10, 9. Log base 10, 9. This means log base 10, 9 raised to power 2. This 2 is now a power. So log base 10 is 1. Minus 3, log base 10, 4. Again, this is power. So you just change this to log base 10, 4 is to power minus 3, which is log base 10, 1 over 64. 1 plus One plus one plus log base ten two. The one is telling you if a log of a number in base ten is one, what's power of ten is one. If a power of ten is one, what number is it? Ten. So this is ten log. log base 10 10 plus log log base 10 2 and plus we means multiplication so that will be log log base 10 2 times 10 20 log 18 minus 2 log 2 minus means what division this 2 means what power so you get log 18 divided by 2 is to power 2 which is 4 and so you get log 9 over 2 which is 4 and a half or yeah and leave it as 9 over 2 then simplify without using table. Simplify without using table. Log 16 over log 4. Log 16 over log 4. Now, this is where student gets into trouble. You can't cut 4 with 16. This is log of a number. This will be 1 point something if it's base 10. And this will be you know, 0 point something. You can't just cut like that. But you can change 16 to look like 4. Either you make this 2 raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 2, or you leave this as 4 raised to power 2. So you can have this as 2 log 4 over log 4. Log 4 clearly can cancel log 4, whatever their base. So your answer is 2. Then log root 8, over log 2. The root means what? Half. And 8 means what? 2 raised to power 3. So this is 3 over 2, log 2, over log 2. 2 is raised to power 3 to get 8. And the square root means power half. So half times 3, that's where the 3 over 2. This is the third theory of log, P log. And so log 2 cancels log 2. And our answer is 3 over 2. Log, log base 10x equals 4. Log base 10 x equals 4. The implication of
of log is the base raised to the power is equal to x. So straight away, x is equal to 10 raised to the power 4, which is what? So x is equal to 10,000, I think. 1, 2, 3. Then 4 raised to the power x plus 1. 4 raised to the power x plus 1 is equal to 64 raised to the power x over 2. Alright. Change this two to equal base. 64 is 4 cubed. You just have to recognize all these powers. And you can't do that unless you do exercises. From exercises, you know what is 2 cubed, what is 5 cubed. But you just see them. But if you don't practice, nobody else, there's nobody to teach you math. You have to do exercise. So 4 raised to the power x plus 1 equals 4 raised to the power 3 times x over 2. That's multiplying the two powers. If the bases are the same, the powers are the same. Therefore, x plus 1 is equal to 3x over 2. And multiply through by 2 to get rid of the fraction. 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x. Transfer. 2 is equal to 3x minus 2x. Therefore, interchange side, x is equal to 2. <coughs> 3 raised to power 2x. 3 raised to power 2x minus 4 times 3 raised to power x plus 3 equals 0. So you let, if you look at this, 3 is common. 3 raised to power x is common. So let 3 raised to power x be y. So replace this. This will be 3 raised to power x raised to power 2 minus 4 times 3 raised to power x plus 3 equals 0. Which means this is y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals 0. So you now solve. 3, you are adding to get 4. Remember your JS. The coefficient of y squared is 1. So you are in JS quadratic factorization. 3 to get 4 is 3 and 1. Because we are adding to get 4. But both of them are negative. So y minus 1 into y minus 3 equals 0. So y is equal to 1 or 3. Now, this is not the end of the story. You have to go back and look at what your y represents. Therefore, your y was 3 raised to the power x. 3 raised to the power x is equal to 1 or 3 raised to the power 1. Now, 1, any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So instead of 1, I write that as 3 raised to the power 0 so I can equate the power. So 3 raised to the power x is equal to 3 raised to the power 0. Therefore, x is equal to 0. Or 3 raised to the power x equals to 3 raised to the power 1. Therefore, x equals 1. These are the two solutions. 17x equals 35. Hmm? <coughs> 17 raised to the power x equals 35. <coughs> 17 raised to the power x equals 35. Take log of both sides. So x log 17 is equal to log 35. Therefore, you have to check the table twice. So you take the log of 17 and you take the log of 35 because you want x. x is equal to log of 35 over log of 17, which is 1.5441 over 1.2304. You will now say, if x is this, you now need to take the log of this, the log of this, subtract, and find the antilog. 
So number and log. So you look for log of 1.5441. You look for log of 1.2304, which is 0 0.0. .0 1887 0899 then you subtract this and you get 0 0.070 0 0.0788 and then you look for the antilog of that which will give you 1.255 Anyway, this is approximately 1.3 to two significant figures. This is just by the side in case you come across a problem like that.